global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Global Happenings today. Some few weeks ago, a special appeal court was inaugurated to look into the issue of the river state crisis, the many legal issues. Of course, some of the cases were heard, but some were kept till today. Fast forward, the result is out. The former AGF have told uh, the judiciary that social media has literally stripped them of their immunity. It is now their turn to rewrite their history. But let's dive into the news to find out exactly the verdict over this issue of river state, especially the allocations once and for all. Uh, of course, for some of us who don't know the full details, at the end of the video, we'll tell you how it all began. Now, according to the news, the appellant court rulings today, led by Justice Baker, found that found that the lower court lacked the necessary jurisdiction to hear the case and issue the orders contained in the judgment. Now, the appeal court upheld the argument presented by River State Legal Counsel, Chief Chris, Chief Chris Uche, Senior Advocate of Nigeria San, that the federal court had no authority to entertain disputes about the state's revenue. Now, the case in question involved the seizure of funds meant for River State with the Federal High Court directing the Central Bank of Nigeria and the state's bankers to withhold the release of funds to the state. The ruling was based on the claim that Governor Similar Lai Fobara had failed to present the state 2024 budget to the proper House of Assembly. However, the appeal court pointed out that the mere presence of federal agencies in the case was a deliberate attempt to confer jurisdiction upon the lower court. Justice Baker emphasized that the federal high court overstepped its authority and did not possess the requisite jurisdiction to entertain the matter in the first place. The court stated that the mere listing of federal agencies does not confer or restrict jurisdiction on the federal high court and that the subject matter, which is the appropriation issue of a state, should not have been entertained. Consequently, the appeal court struck out the suit filed in the lower court, effectively setting aside all the orders made therein due to lack of jurisdiction. Wow! The ruling stated, and I quote, the trial court lacked subject matter jurisdiction to entertain the suit. Suit is struck out and all orders made therein are set aside for want of jurisdiction. Civil litigation. Now, of course, there are a, lot of, a lot of issues are going on here. My colleague is in the house. This is getting really interesting because most Nigerians are wondering what will be the verdict. If you recall, let's just give you a quick highlight here. We are just a week, he said uh, that he wanted to teach Otondo, similar for Bara, who does not know anything, uh, that uh, he does not know that uh, CBN is a federal agency. INEC is a federal agency. This is interesting. And these are jurisdictions. Now, the special appeal has said it's not enough. What's your take? This is really interesting, honestly. I, I, I think this is thumbs up for um, the judiciary. Yes. This will brighten their faces again before Nigerians. And uh, it, it's a big win also for the person of Fubara. And I think celebration should be ongoing right yes. now. And, and, uh, oh, my God. I'm, I'm, I'm so excited about the news because, number one, the same thing we have been talking about... You know, most people were being tagged, television, lawyers, and all yeah. of that. But then, the issue of jurisdiction is something that even a, 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 a mere church and, bill. church and bill lawyer will know. Or even not church and bill, even another person who is, you know, at least have an idea of law, should be able to tell you areas or, or jurisdiction and tell you which case that should not go to the Federal High Court. And I, I don't know how this came about, but I must say that this has called judiciary, I mean, I mean, has given them 100%, you Absolutely. know, and the thumbs up to KKRE, KK, KK, who, uh, who had uh, been able to, you know, do one thing that Nigerians will never forget in a hurry, which means this case must come back 
to uh, River State, uh, okay. come back to River State, and let's handle this issue from, from there. Pali. That Pali. is that is the area of jurisdiction. Yeah, you understand. So I, I think this is huge victory. I, I don't know what to say, but I, I'm so excited about this development. And on that same vein, I, uh, let me preempt. It's obvious that um, I could say with some level of boldness that Martin Emory and Committee of Friends, Friends. will remain as Committee of Friends <laughs> oh because God. a whole lot of things, <laughs> when it gets to this table, <laughs> they will have to wait for oh 2027. Oh Please, God. I wonder why INEC is still Wasting waiting. Time. Eh? Are they going to leave this until 2025? And it's almost wrapping up. They said mid to December. Mid December, we have not seen any by elections. But but let's say a place maybe they are waiting for this special people. But you know, the, before now there have been this ups and down about this yeah. appeal. They are changing the judges and all that. But finally, because they had actually shifted one of their cases till today, oh, and wow. you know, so that's why if the Uferia, you know, shifted because after a while the pressure was really on them. A lot of Nigerians wanted to find out their verdict. But their verdict is very nice, honestly. Mm, yeah. uh, but then again, what do you think would be going through the mind of Fubara, Ugo Chinyere and the likes, who were literally, you know, and the former AGF said something unique. He said, look, social media have stripped judiciary of whatever immunity they have. Mm. It's now their time mm -hmm. to rewrite their history, their own history, wow. using the recent judgment. And if you ask me, what do you think they've just done? I, I think they have done that exactly. Nigerians are happy about this development for once. We want to see a judiciary that is not in the pocket of anybody. You know, we want to see um, Nigerians look up to judiciary and say it is truly the hope of a common man. We want to see a judiciary that is impartial, a judiciary that is non-biased, a, a judiciary that stands by the rule of law that respects fundamental human yeah. rights of Nigerians and all of that. I, I also feel that this will also play into other cases you know for once let us uh, see judiciary uh, with the eyes that as children we had seen them you know whenever they take cases to court you you're so sure that the judge will be very impartial and it's playing out now now for uh, someone like fubara i think fubara will be excited about the development and uh, uh, I think so much kudos will go to certain persons who did not close the amount because I feel that the social media, the ranting on social media by some top persons, mostly some of the senior advocates of Nigeria, you know, a lot. Dele, imagine what happened. All this issue of uh, Dele Farotimi, it's because of the fact that, you know, the criminality that we person that Nigerians perceive about judiciary but with this development come on somehow i think that uh, they have been able to get they what they write, want write them. exactly they're not there yet, but they are close, they are close. But, but i think that for someone like wiki he won't give up he will take the case scale it up to supreme court yeah. i think I, I think that's the next thing that will happen but since um judiciary is still in the pursuit of rewriting their history, uh, history again i think they will still give it to uh, River State. And I think everything is going to be settled once and for all. All right, that's where we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our conversation. Let's